Spring cleaning is here and Appalachian Wireless has the deal to get you started. Get a Samsung Galaxy S8 for a penny or a Galaxy S8 Plus for only $89.99 on the region's best network. Better service, bigger savings, that's today's Appalachian Wireless. To your agreement required, see store for details. When you think about Appalachian art, you probably think about traditional styles of painting and crafts. However, an exhibit at the Mountain Art Center this month takes some of those ideas and turns them on their head while still preserving their influence. So what we wanted to do was showcase Appalachian artists and their work outside of your stereotypical um, tobacco barns and culticles. While I love that, and that's a part of our culture and our history, I think outside of our region, um, we get stereotyped into one speed of artwork. Sure. This will, this exhibit, Radical Appalachia, will run through the month of May with our reception Wednesday the 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. Williams says there is much more variety to Appalachian art than what is usually seen. I wanted to give a feel of Appalachia in a modern depiction. I wanted um, Jen Noble's work as a prime example. She has three-dimensional work and her colors just pop right off the canvas. Heather Branch Owens is a good one. In my head, this is a version of a really sexy, <laughs> spicy possum. And it's got, you know, she's got a sense of humor about it. A lot of people don't see this when, um, when you think of Southeast Kentucky artists, you don't think contemporary, modern, bold, bright colors. Those featured in the exhibit are members of the Kentucky Art Tribe, a relatively new group that Williams formed three years ago as a way to fill a need in the Eastern Kentucky visual arts community. When I started out, I didn't know how to apply to a gallery, how to make a gallery connection, how to write an artist bio or resume. So I wanted to um, ease that process up for somebody that was looking to pursue art as their career or co-career. The Radical Appalachia exhibit continues through the month of May. Reporting in Prestonsburg, I'm Ralph Davis for EKB News.